Hi, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another video today. And today, I wanna to show you the difference between using the Adobe Mercury Playback Engine um, for rendering versus NVIDIA CUDA. Now, what, what NVIDIA CUDA allows you to do, also with um, OpenGL as well, but Premiere is just more geared up to work better with CUDA, um, is it basically takes um, some stress um, off of the uh, CPU, and it's supposed to quicken up um, rendering. And I wanna see how much does it quicken up rendering so um, the system that we're using today is this one here in my NZXT source s340 um, it's an e5 2670 v3 Xeon which is a 12 core I've got 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM running on an MSI x99 motherboard and the graphics card I'm using is a GTX 960 now this isn't the most powerful of NVIDIA graphics cards and it hasn't got nowhere near as many CUDAs as your 1070s and your 1080s um, it's just over a thousand um, CUDA cores but um, it definitely um, helps out. So what I want to do is just quickly show you some footage um, and show you the difference between the Mercury Playback Engine um, and CUDA. So let me take you into the uh, software. Okay, so here we have just a quick little 4K clip and I've just thrown like a color effect and distortion on there just so it sort of is doing a little bit more than just rendering. But for this first video, what we're going to be doing is checking to make sure we're going to do this with I'm going to do the software only um, and what I'm going to do with both of these is check where they are um, later in the video we're going to show you it at 10% so it just sort of gets all that stuff out of the way where it keeps changing time on how long it's going to take so I'm going to change it to 40 megabytes a second because I think that's roughly at what this video is stored at as well um, and then we're just going to use maximum frame blending as well so I'm just going to click export Okay, so we're about to approach 10% on uh, CUDA disabled just using the Mercury playback engine and we are at 9 minutes and 40 seconds. CPU usage is at 62% um, and memory is at 44%. Okay, so we're going to turn on CUDA. Just so you can see it's all the same. Uh, we'll just keep previews for now. And then we'll do, let's get this thing rendered. So we want maximum frame quality. Set them to 40 and then I'm going to click export. So we're just about to hit 10% um, with CUDA enabled and we are at 7 minutes and 7 seconds. We have CPU usage of about just over 70% um, and memory usage at 79% as well. So actually slightly higher with the CUDA. I was expecting that to drop a bit but um, definitely there is a big drop in speed. So even with just using something cheap um, with not a lot of CUDA cores like a GTX um, 960, I was getting a 30% speed difference. Um, was actually a little bit surprised, you know, I might have said there that I was surprised that the CPU and RAM were different because before, um, with other videos I've done, I've generally uh, used the CPU less um, with CUDA, but then I don't ever normally use effects and add stuff to it, which I wanted to do for this video. But as we can tell, you know, for that graphics card I bought secondhand for £120 and for a 30% increase on video rendering, I think that is a very cheap deal. Um, you know, that's very, it really helps out with the system. So any of you looking at building a rendering machine and you couldn't decide whether you're going to get a graphics card or not I think you know it, there's only one option and that is to get a NVIDIA graphics card if you are video editing.